In this video, we're going to try and find the stationary points of the curve y equals 12x squared plus 5x over x squared plus 1 without using calculus. So, just as we've done in the previous videos, we're going to put 12x squared plus 5x over x squared plus 1 equal to k. I'm going to multiply up by the denominator, so kx squared plus k. Then I need to rearrange this. So I'm going to get everything onto the right-hand side. So we're going to have k take away 12x squared, take away 5x plus k. So we're going to need the discriminant to be equal to 0, which implies that minus 5 squared take away 4 lots of k take away 12 times by k is going to be equal to 0. So 25 take away 4k squared plus 48k, so minus 4 times minus 12k, is equal to 0. Right, I'm going to move everything onto the right-hand side. So 4k squared take away 48k uh, take away 25. Right. So 4 minus 48 minus 25. So this is going to factorise to uh, 2k take away 25 and then 2k uh, plus 1. So we've got two values of k. k is equal to 25 halves, or k is equal to minus a half. So now we need to work out the x values. So we're going to take the k values in turn, substitute them into this quadratic, in order to work, get a quadratic that I can then solve for x. So we've got uh, 25 halves take away 12, so 1 half, 0 equals 1 half x squared, take away um, 125 over 2x, oh sorry, I, there's no k though is there, sorry that was my mistake, take away 5x, uh, and then plus 25 halves, apologies. Right, multiply through by 2. We get x squared take away 10x plus 25, and is the perfect square of x take away 5 all squared. So that implies that x is equal to 5. So there's a stationary point at 5, 25 halves. And for k equals minus a half, OK, um, substituting that in, we're going to get minus a half, uh, take away 12, so minus 25 halves x squared. Then take away 5x, take away a half. Well, I'm going to multiply through by minus 2. And so that is going to factorise to 5x plus 1 all squared. So x is going to be equal to minus 1 fifth. OK, so we've got another stationary point at minus 1 fifth minus a half. And so we've got the two stationary points using no calculus techniques.